The Voyager is in deep interstellar space. In today's video, we will reveal its terrifying discoveries that will blow your mind. On 25th August 2012, Voyager 1 became the first man-made object to cross the magnetic bubble inflated by our sun reaching interstellar space. Almost a decade later, Voyager 1 unveiled shocking discoveries that even surprised scientists. Keep watching while we reveal the spacecraft's horrifying adventure in deep space. Earth's farthest spacecraft in space. The Voyager project began in 1972, when scientists at NASA planned on creating a spaceship called Mariner Jupiter Saturn 1977, which was later changed to the Voyager mission. Initially planned as a five-year expedition only, the Voyager mission has exceeded everyone's expectations as it has become operational for 45 years. Voyager 1 launched on 5th September 1977, two weeks after its twin Voyager 2 embarked for the same objective, to observe the gas giants of the solar system. The Voyager 1 spacecraft is equipped with television cameras, infrared and ultraviolet sensors, magnetometers, and plasma detectors that help the spacecraft conduct 10 different experiments as it wanders farther into space. One of the most memorable things that the Voyager mission carries is the 90-minute golden phonograph record, a 26-centimeter, 12-inch copper disc containing sounds and images to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. The phonograph record aims to send a message just in case another intelligent life form in space finds the Voyager traveling in the cosmos. They might even send a message back. Voyager 1 has an impressive example of engineering, considering the fact that it was made in the 70s. It brought numerous breakthroughs in the space industry, including the closest approach to Jupiter in 1979, and our first close look at the incredible Saturn rings in 1980. After completing all of its initial objectives in four years, NASA extended the Voyager mission into an ambiguous Voyager interstellar mission, which aims to explore deeper into space. But how did the Voyager mission do so well even after 45 years? The once-in-a-lifetime alignment. In 1965, NASA discovered an occurrence that may never happen again after 176 years, the perfect alignment of the four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Using complex analysis and computations, scientists at NASA found that the alignment can dramatically decrease the travel time to Uranus by 20 years, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to travel to the farthest planets of our solar system. Scientists concluded that a probe can maximize this occurrence and use the planet's gravitational pull to perform a perfect sling to increase the probe's speed as it travels towards the other planets. Twelve years later, the alignment of the outer planets made it possible for the Voyager missions to succeed and even have a chance to observe and measure the very distant interstellar space. Let's take a look at the Voyager's journey to interstellar space. Voyager 1 left the orbit of the farthest planet in the solar system, Neptune, in 1985, traveling at a whopping speed of 61,500 kilometers per hour, 38,200 miles per hour. In 1990, NASA officially extended Voyager into interstellar missions. NASA decided to turn off the spacecraft's cameras to increase the longevity of the spacecraft and save its power to collect key data on solar wind and interstellar space. On 14th February 1990, Voyager 1 took its last photo of Earth and the solar system, which was at that time 6 billion kilometers, 4 billion miles away. Voyager captured what looked like a dot floating in dark space. It was later coined as the pale blue dot and friends. Just imagine billions of people on Earth captured in one single dot. Eight years later, Voyager 1 passed Pioneer 10, the first probe who reached Jupiter in 1972 to become the furthest man-made object from Earth in space. With a mind-bending distance of 10.3 billion kilometers, 6.4 billion miles, Voyager 1 reached yet another milestone in 2005 when it crossed the solar system's first line of defense, the termination shock. The termination shock is the region that marks one of the outer limits of the sun's influence. It is where solar wind dramatically slows down as it runs into fierce resistance from interstellar winds. But passing the termination shock doesn't mean we've reached interstellar space yet. It was not until seven years later, in 2012, when Voyager 1 finally reached the heliopause, which marked the starting point of interstellar space. It was the first time scientists confirmed that there really is a heliopause, the boundary that separates the solar system and interstellar space. In simple terms, 
The heliopause is the region wherein the interstellar winds and solar winds collide, causing them to achieve equilibrium. This is only the start of a longer journey for Voyager 1 throughout interstellar space. Nine years after the spacecraft crossed the heliopause, spacecraft revealed terrifying truths about deep space. What did the Voyager discover that left scientists in shock? The Voyager spacecraft continued relaying data to scientists at NASA when it came closer to the heliopause, which scientists know little to nothing about. At 225 million kilometers, 140 million miles, within the heliopause, that they observed that the plasma surrounding the spacecraft was slower than the plasma in the solar system and is hotter. But when the Voyager crossed the boundary, it got even hotter about 31,000 degrees Celsius or 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, the spacecraft should melt right away, right? No. Despite this much heat, the Voyager survived because of the very few molecules present in the heliopause, and little heat was transferred to the spacecraft. But this heat proves that there is a far more violent clash between the solar wind and cosmic rays than scientists ever predicted. Beyond these clashes in the heliopause, is an unknown interstellar space. You will not believe what the Voyager picked up in its cruise in the deep dark space. In 2019, Voyager 1 discovered a faint hum in interstellar space that left scientists in awe. Scientists in NASA described the Voyager's location in the interstellar medium as very faint and monotone. What and where does this hum come from? Was it aliens or extraterrestrial beings trying to mess up Voyager? Actually, no. NASA revealed that it was just interstellar gas. Gas that is mostly hydrogen and helium, which supplies the raw material for star formation. Scientists also discovered that every few years, solar wind leaks into interstellar space, causing what they describe as detecting a lightning burst through a thunderstorm, or a sudden surge of plasma in interstellar space. This was a major discovery for NASA as they once thought that all solar winds that our sun is producing could not reach interstellar space. Voyager 1 is wandering in deep space at a very high speed, as it continues to discover uncharted areas in our universe. But recently, the spacecraft has been acting strange, as it constantly goes into safe mode and is sending alarms to NASA. What is happening? Why is Voyager 1 sending strange signals? The spacecraft is currently 23.3 billion kilometers, 14.5 billion miles away from Earth, and is still working properly. But NASA's project manager for Voyager 1, Suzanne Dodd, and her team noticed strange behavior from the 45-year-old spacecraft. While these strange signals can be quite alarming, Suzanne Dodd observed that the Voyager 1 seemed confused about its location in space. She also added that issues like this are actually likely to happen due to the very unpredictable nature of interstellar space. NASA said that the glitch from Voyager 1 came from its Altitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, which is responsible for controlling the proper orientation of the spacecraft and its antennas. The AACS is apparently sending unnecessary data, causing the spacecraft to send frequent alarms. With the Voyager billions of kilometers away, can we still fix the horizontal spacecraft? The short answer is yes, as the engineers in NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said that the issue has been resolved and the probe's AACS is now functioning back to normal. Though they are still not exactly sure what is the root cause of the glitch. With the Voyager starting to show signs of aging, many are asking, is the Voyager exploration nearing its end? With the recent issues with Voyager 1, Many in the space community have been wondering if the Voyager's monumental adventure in the cosmos is nearing its conclusion. Well, it's a yes and a no. At some point, Voyager 1's power supply will deplete, and scientists are predicting that this will happen in 2025. A failing power supply means it will probably stop collecting data by this year. When it stops collecting data, the Voyager will continue to drift far away from our galaxy and discover things that, unfortunately, we cannot know. The spacecraft's voyage may not end soon, and may not even end forever. The next big encounter for the Voyager will be the entrance of the Oort Cloud, which is a spherical layer of icy objects surrounding our Sun. If the Voyager lives long enough to pass 500,000 years, it would complete a full and complete orbit around the Milky Way galaxy, where it would pass countless stars, planets, and other space objects in our vast galaxy, carrying that phonograph record at its core hoping that it would reach someone on the other side of the galaxy. Do you think an extraterrestrial being in the Milky Way will get our message? Will the Voyager at least have a chance to leave our galaxy?
Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any space news. See you in the next video.